My name is Ryan Clifford. I'm in the class of 2022. I play outfield and first base. I go to Pro 5 Academy and I'm committed to Vanderbilt. And this is a day in the life. Uh, I started playing baseball right around the age of like five. Um, I played uh, multiple sports kind of around that age and then uh, my dad played some professional baseball with the Rockies so that was kind of what led that drive and I've been playing ever since. Oh, oh one, we're good. Oh, I put that line, you lucky. It's the turf line, buddy, calm down. <laughs> no, I dropped it's a point. No, that's too far. Oh, that's the goal line. That's it. Oh. What? 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 Uh, I picked Vanderbilt, you know, a lot based off the, the conversations I had with the coach. I felt like they were going to be um, a good place for me where they were going to push me to be my best and, and they're going to be a competitive team no matter what. Um, but I think it helps they've got a really good track record as well with developing players and, and that was what I want to be a part of. Yeah, so I, I first talked to Vanderbilt the kind of the summer before my freshman year. Um, I went on a visit just kind of looking around, seeing what kind of things I liked and, and things I might not like. And then uh, it was around that time when I kind of just I shut down my entire recruitment process. I didn't want to um, push a decision too early knowing that I still had plenty of time uh, a couple years down the road. So then uh, right around last November, or, or so that was when I kind of reopened my recruitment process um, was back in contact with them and uh, just kind of confirmed some of the things I wanted to see from a program and, and it was an easy decision for me.
for me, I think my greatest strength is, is that I'm going to be competitive. I'm going to go out there and, and try to help my team win, and whether that be on offense or defense. I'm going to do my best to um, you know, pick up my teammates and help them out and, and try to score some runs. I think uh, it's easy to say the, the power is the number one thing, but um, I want to be a complete hitter. As far as weaknesses go, I think um, there's no reason I can't improve in every aspect of my game. So I want to continue to, to develop strength and speed and, and work on agility and become a really good outfielder as well. I've always been a Harper fan, for sure. That's kind of my number one. I just like the way that he plays the game with you know, fierce competitive um, attitude. And as far as it goes, he's an outfielder, left-handed swing. I feel like I kind of try to model my game a little bit after him. Um, Mike Trout's always up there. He's a guy who, you know, when he's healthy, he's really fun to watch. And um, he's gonna do something special on, on a daily basis. And then um, kind of new on the scene is Juan Soto. He's a kid who's really young and is making a big impact with his team. Um, but I think he plays the game well as well. And, you know, he's got a little more flair than some of the other guys, but he's able to back that up really well. For me, there's a, there's a couple that are up there. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to win two gold medals with USA Baseball. Uh, one when I was 12, when I was 15 as well. Um, and now I was also able to be a part of the 18U national team this year, playing with a lot of guys like Elijah Green, um, Drew Jones, Tamar Johnson. So kind of just developing those relationships with those guys and, and competing with them has been one of the top uh, baseball memories for me. That's one. Get it down. Um, you know, for me, my, you know, stage of uncommitted to committed was a little bit different, right? Like I had um, some schools reach out to me um, and I know that's it's a different path for everyone. So it's kind of understanding where you're at as far as, you know, the name and brand you have for yourself. If you're a guy who may be a little under recruited in your opinion, then you kind of have to go and reach out to some of these teams. Um, you get understand your level. It's not. It's okay to go D2 or JUCO. Like there's a lot of great players that come from both of those. So um, I think as far as advice, it, it'd be to take the best route for yourself um, and, and put your name out there. It can't hurt. Today we got here early, we did some bunting competition. Uh, from there we worked into a team stretch and then got into some long toss. We did some short work in the outfield and then infielders did their short work as well. Uh, from there we moved into infield outfield. I played some outfield and first base here. Uh, went to BP after that and then wrapped it up. That's a day in the life. <laughs> 